I'll just press reply or, and it will automatically put in my nice signature. Now, if I wanted a different signature, uh, I want to put in my smaller one, I could put in my little one, Look, one line. G'day team, Adam Kogan here from SSW TV, and today I want to talk about signatures. Now, signatures are important that they have the corporate brand. Um, I think it's really important not to have a mobile signature that says get Outlook for Android or sent with my iPhone. You want to have a phone number there. Ideally, uh, if you're cool, put ping me on Teams, something better. Now, when you're sending it to a client, you want to have a nice signature. Um, Obviously, if, you're, if you keep sending things to a client uh, in a long thread, you don't want to have a big signature all the time, so you might want to have a short signature. If you're sending emails to colleagues internally, you don't need this big signature, nice little ones. Now, you've got a couple of choices to um, sort this out. Uh, you can do it free. You know, for many years we use this login script. Uh, the login script runs beautifully if somebody's on a domain. If they're not on a domain, you'll have to tell them to do it. And then they have to close down Outlook and there's a bit of a pain involved there. And then when it changes by the marketing department and they want you to get the new, new signature, it's very painful to get everyone to do it. So there are some solutions, but they cost money. Uh, one is from Code2. And another one is Exclaimer. And we've used both these. Uh, they both are quite nice. Uh, our favorite one is Code2. It is a bit cheaper and it has a nicer designer, but they're both awesome. Uh, so here is the story. Now let's just talk about Outlook and I'll just do you a quick demo. And I'll open up my most recent email. What's this from? This is, where is this box from? I have no idea. I'll just press reply or, and it will automatically put in my nice signature. Now, if I wanted a different signature, uh, I want to put in my smaller one. I could put in my little one, Look, one line. Uh, or if I didn't like that, I could just say, actually, I want my big one. Change my mind, I want my little one, big one. All right, whatever you want. Or you might want to say, let's just say somebody hates your signature. You can always um, insert a signature and I've set one up to say no signature. So that will mean absolutely no signature would go. Uh, but by default, if I just say no idea, that would put in my default signature. So that works beautifully on a mobile phone. So when you say you just reply and there's no signature, it will automatically insert the right signature. A nice big fancy one if there's external people or a little one if it's internal. How does this work? Well, let's just jump over here. These are your rules. So if you're using Outlook, you have your big fancy one. And let's go and have a look at what that looks like. Here it is. You press design, you press edit signature and it has this beautiful design. It's kind of why we like the tool, but there it all is. If you want to see what it looks like in a real email, they kind of give it to you like this. All right, and I will just uh, show you the other one, and I'll just close that down, and we'll look at the one that would go um, internally, and it's one line, nice and simple. Very important, one line, there you go. So I think that's the way to go. These server-side tools that work on the server are especially important for the marketing people of your company when you want to put a new link there or do something, track things. They make one change and everyone in your company gets it. So hopefully that was useful to you. Uh, I'd love you to uh, give me your feedback on what you think the best solution to implement uh, signatures in a company is. This is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.